I think it's good for the project to be able to have a bit of fun, a bit of interaction. It's not all business, business, business. Today having Elizabeth here, some women in engineering society has been great for the young girls. I mean, just talking about what they do and about the great stuff that the society's doing and to actually get them to just all get together and, and have a tour around the site has been brilliant and I know that they've all thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, today has been absolutely fantastic to see the tunnel boring machine Rachel, named after Rachel Parsons, the Women's Engineering Society first president. The ingenuity, the teamwork, the professionalism. But this is about changing the world. We save more lives than doctors. It's so inspiring to be surrounded by women who are engineers and who really know their stuff. And we know that by talking to women in engineering that they're balancing out some of the unconscious bias that if we work with just male teams we get. So it's fantastic to see so many women who are really enjoying working here. They're helping to uh, create one of the most fantastic engineering marvels of London that will probably not be seen. This site's purpose is to stop the pumping station when it's active during storms to stop all that sewage going into the river. It's quite important as a grade 2 listed building, but it does pump an awful lot of sewage out into the river. One of the points why my site is unique is because of the number of female uh, engineers that we have on the team. I think that's quite important nowadays. I can see the reaction of people when they come in from other sites and that's one of their first comments is, wow, it's very female dominant on this site. This is our reality, this is normal. And to me, there's no difference. These guys are all highly competent, highly skilled, highly experienced. Well, I think it's good to see. We are a small team of people, so that makes easy having a relation with every single member of the team. I like to think there's one team here. You know, the problem shared is a problem halved. Yes. You know? I'm quite proud to work in a project that is going to be part of the legacy for London and for the whole community. Just having the chance to say that I was part of that project is something, as an engineer and as a professional, quite, quite unique. So today with the other board members we are taking part in a litter pick on the foreshore of the River Thames, predominantly to count the number of wet wipes and sanitary towels that get put into the River Thames. I've got to say I'm staggered by what we're finding, um, but this is all part of gathering data to understand the scale of the problem that the river and the foreshores face. People think about wet wipes as very small squares. We're finding huge rags that weigh pounds each just below the surface. Where the wet wipes and sanitary can come from is they are flushed down our loos and toilets of the local area through the overflows getting to the River Thames. I have to say the Thames Tyber Tunnel will help considerably. Thames 21 supported us enormously and we want to support them now by coming out here with our volunteers, with our board and making sure that everybody understands firstly what the problem is and then what the solution is. I'm very pleased that we're all here and hopefully it shows that you know, from the very top of the company we care about what we're doing in a, in a very real and if not very glamorous way but uh, this is important. <laughs> 